welcome to Kidsville. You know, we've had some exciting things going on. Easter was great. But you know, we have to get back to work. Bonkers! What are you doing in Kidsville? I've been in Mexico doing kids crusades. Well, that's awesome. That sounds great. Well, what's your future plans? I heard you were running the hotel and I wanted to see you guys one more time before I leave. Leave? Where are you going? The Air Force. Well, what are you going to do in the Air Force? You know, military people have kids too, so I'm going around the world to spread laughs, loves, and Jesus. Well, how many days are you going to be here? Oh, about three days. Well, great. Well, here, sign in, and I'll call Sheepy and show you up to your room. Uh, Sheepy, come to the lobby. After I get settled, I got some pictures in here that I want to show you later from my mission trip. Hey, that's awesome! Boy, it sure is great to have Bonkers back. You know, we've had some great times here at Kidsville. on tape. With us today is Chief McGrell. The little spot. Today we're watching Bunker. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Kidsville Hotel. How many days will you be staying with us? I will need a room for three days. Well, great. Well, Sheepy will show you down to your room. Can I have you sign in? I hear that Bonkers is in town. I am an old friend. What room is he in? Oh, well, he's in room 234. Uh, if you'll just walk down the hall, Sheepy will meet you and he'll take you up to your room. Well, thanks, and enjoy your stay at the Kidsville Hotel. Wow, that's the first time in Kidsville we've had two clowns staying in our hotel. This should be exciting. Oh, that Derek. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Mm. Well, what's the problem, Johnny? Oh, hi, Cece. 
I just came back from baseball practice. And oh, that Derek. Well, you see, I'm a really good first baseman. And I tried out for the team and got it. But Derek, he's really, really jealous of me. And so he's telling the coach that I'm a bad donkey. And that I do bad things. I just don't know what to do. It's really hurting my feelings. Well, that's not good. But you know, I know a good Bible story that can help us out. You do? Sure. Oh. Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold 90 feet high and set it up in Babylon. Then the herald shouted, Whoever does not fall down and worship the image will be thrown into a blazing furnace. Some jealous men said to Nebuchadnezzar, Some Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not worship the image of gold. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar said to the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, If you do not worship the image, you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace. Then what god will rescue you? The three men replied, If we are thrown into the furnace, God is able to save us. But even if he does not, we will not worship the image of gold. The Nebuchadnezzar ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual. Commanded some of his strongest soldiers to throw the men into the blazing furnace. The furnace was so hot that the flames killed the soldiers. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. The Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet. Look, I see four men walking around in the fire, and the fort looks like an angel. The Nebuchadnezzar shouted. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come here. Some of the men came out in the fire. The fire had not harmed their bodies. The fire had not burned a hair on their heads. Their robes were not burned, and there was no smell of fire on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No other God can save in this way. That's a good Bible story. You know, the Bible has answers to any problem that we could ever have. You're right, Cece. You know, I'm going to go and pray for Derek right now. That's a great idea. I'll help you pray too. Thank you, Cece. Bye. Bye. Where am I? Who are you? My name is Pierre. You have made my career as a clown so bad because of all the good things you do. After today, bunkers will be no more and Pierre will rise. Well, what do you intend to do? What were you 
you doing, Bonkers? I had to have some fun when I was in Mexico. I'm disappointed in the Bonkers. A real Christian preaching the gospel wouldn't act like that. It just doesn't seem like the Bonkers that I know. <coughs> she said, what? I was just up in the hallway to buy a bonkers room, and you know what? What? I heard noises coming out of there, like somebody banging on the wall. Well, there can't be anyone in there. Bonkers just came through here, and he went out the door. Well, I sure heard it. Well, we better go up there and find out what's going on. Let's go. That's a good idea. What Whoa. happened? Pierre's <laughs> jealous of me. She's trying to ruin me. Well, she's doing a good job of it. Oh, we got to stop her. Well, Cece, we need to have a clown on. Try to get her to meet me in the cafeteria. Good idea. Let's go. <laughs> hey, are you going to untie me? Take my suit off. There's only one bonkers. I challenge you to a clown off.
Jesus said, For if you forgive men their trespass, your heavenly Father also will forgive you. Matt 6.14, Would you like to come with me to share Jesus' love with the world? Yeah! Well, this is more like bunkers. Well, I'm ready to leave, CC. Oh, okay. Well, let's go down to the cafeteria. Spot wants to sing you a song, okay? Okay. My mama read a story from the Bible long ago about Shadrach, Meshach, and older than the gold. How the wicked king commanded they be thrown into the flame. Cause he thought that he would find them lying dead upon the ground But instead of three, he counted four up walking all around Then I said, Mama, wait a minute, there's one thing that I must know If three went in and three came out, then where'd that fourth man go? And I never will forget it, Mama danced across the floor These are the words I heard her say while shouting through the door Still the
face life's hardest flame but i'm glad that i can tell you through the power of his name not one flame of fire will touch you you'll come through it and you'll tell yesterday today forever god is still alive and well i said he's still in the fire and he's walking Something to show you too, with my imagination. <laughs> you remember how to imagine? Yeah, let's count to three. Oh boy! Oh. One, One, two, two three. Blue from the sky.